The World Health Organization has declared a global public health emergency following an outbreak of a new strain of the Mpox virus in Africa. A global public health emergency as a new form of the virus is now rapidly spreading across Africa. The outbreak of monkeypox, a public health emergency of international concern. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Not looking great, is it? But there is an upside to this. Unfortunately, as traders, we have to look at all news and we have to say, okay, how can we make money from this, right? There's no shame in this these days. What we can say here is, well, we can ask the question. We can say, is this good for Bitcoin or is this bad for Bitcoin? And if we go to the previous pandemic, guys, uh, we actually can make the assumption that it is good for Bitcoin, right? So we could potentially get a market crash if this does get to the West, uh, and then we get the rebound. Last time this happened, Bitcoin did a 17X, okay? But uh, this is a completely different disease, completely different starting point geographically, uh, and it is something that we should monitor, but it's not something we should bet the farm on. I really bet the farm I could outsmart that. So let's talk about some news headlines. Let's talk about some examples here of when we can expect a massive crash for Bitcoin if this does happen. Uh, and also I'll give you my overview of the market as well as all the trades I'm looking for on the long, medium and short term. Let's go. Okay guys, let's go get it. Okay, let's dive in. A lot of the news is pretty trash here today. And one of the examples of the trash news we're seeing today is uh, Bitcoin mining profitability fell to an all time low in August, a JP Morgan analyst says. All right, this is just not true. This is just not true. If you're an analyst and you study the on chain like me, uh, you know this isn't true. Okay, minor margin. This is it. This is the chart you want to see. Okay, the Bitcoin minor margin 2024 right here in the bottom left. All right, uh, this is the low. All right, this this isn't even the all time low. Okay, um, so yeah, minor margin is nowhere near those lows. So that that article trash. Get away from me. You're dirty. Get the fuck out of my pub, you dirty little uh, bastard. If we are looking at the overall market here, guys, we're seeing mixed bags of results here, right? A lot more red than green. But as you can see again, Aave banging it here. We've been watching Aave. So Aave has actually got a lot of investor interest here uh, where the rest of the market is dumping. Aave seems to be pumping here. So keep an eye on that coin. All right. Uh, but overall, yeah, pretty mixed bag across the board here. If we're looking at fear and greed index, we're seeing it at a 25 here. This is pretty much as we predicted, right? We're saying between 25 and 35 is going to be the foreseeable future until we get major pumps or uh, ridiculous dumps from this level. Again, we're just looking for oscillation here. We're looking for oscillation. Okay. Uh, if we are looking at the ETFs coming through here, we can see yesterday a pretty positive day for Bitcoin. Uh, on the right hand side here, we can see $35 million uh, in total uh, going on to the inflows, which is good stuff. GB GBTC are still looking very negative. I mean, they've just been selling for, for ages now, okay? But the other ETFs are looking pretty decent in terms of inflows uh, recently, particularly yesterday as well, right? Let's take a look at the mining here, guys. We can see historical annualized electricity consumption. Okay, try saying that three times fast. I'm a rapper. Oh, you're a rapper? Oh, okay. Uh, it has had that rounding off here, but yesterday, another down day here. So maybe continuation here of these miners spending less on mining Bitcoin. This is typically a bearish sign, but uh, it's not something that's just free falling, right? If we do go to the all times, right? It's not free falling as of right now, and we haven't got to those super low levels yet. So there is still hope here in terms of hash rate, in terms of the on-chain, which is supply and demand for Bitcoin, which does heavily affect the price more than anything. It's important to me. Uh, so if we are looking at a liquidation heat map here, as we do just update this, go to the three day always with this thing. That's where you get the best data. Uh, we can see massive, massive liquidations around 60K. Okay, uh, this is this looks a lot more like market makers have set this up. It's hard to explain this, but uh, yes, this yellow line here is typically market makers uh, and typically they want it to range between a certain area. Uh, we can't actually see any yellow to the bottom side here, uh, which is quite interesting. So uh, yeah, maybe they are opening the door for a little bit more downwards movements, but uh, if they do want to liquidate and make billions of dollars, then uh, yeah, I mean, coming up, smashing 61 again does make sense to me. Uh, we are tr we are making lower highs quite a lot here, uh, but if we do break over that area, as I'll explain in a minute when we get to the chart, uh, yes, I mean, there is merit to say that we bang it from this point. And besides that, you should definitely subscribe to the Patreon, guys. It's completely free, okay? No credit card. You just make an account, you press follow, okay? No payment, uh, and I'll give you one free Bitcoin signal every single day, okay? Uh, so this is yesterday's one. We were looking for a trade from 60K upwards and that did not happen yet. So this is still valid. So if you want to check this out, feel free. Uh, and then besides that, yes, we are getting in to the charts right here, right now. Let's go. 
Gentlemen, start your engines. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. All right. Cheers. Sign up for Prime XBT, man. What are you doing? Just do it. Just it's, you get a hundred dollars for free. All right, so looking at the charts right here, right now, I do just want to bring up this again, right? So the COVID crash or the C19 crash, uh, we can see here that uh, we want to look at percentages, right? So how much did it dump? when we crashed last time, when that news really hit. It was roughly around this time, right? Kind of mid to late February. Uh, so we'll just call it around here, about 10K for Bitcoin. Bitcoin actually dumped 61% from that point. So I don't want to get people too mad if you do have liquidations, right? I know some of you guys use that high leverage, but uh, yeah, if you do have liquidations and we were to dump from uh, let's just let's just call this 60K, right? Uh, what was it? 60, 51%, 60%? What was it here? Yeah, 61% bad memory. Uh, we can see here that, uh, yeah, that would be down to $22,000 Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, what I will say though, is it promptly bounced after that. And if we do bring up this bad boy, where is this thing? Boom. We can see that uh, it was down to this lower, uh, this lower uh, rainbow linear regressional growth curve, right? So uh, where is that growth curve as of right now? Considering we've got more liquidity uh, in the market, we've got uh, we've got ETFs coming through, we've got people buying Bitcoin from institutions a lot, all right? Uh, I imagine 45% is still applicable. And again, this would be a major black swan event if this did happen, okay? And I do just wanna stress, guys, that uh, I don't want this to happen, okay? But uh, yes, uh, most things that happen in the market are bad. Uh, and as a trader, you have to figure out how to make money from them. And we're not taking money from uh, those people that are the, the victims, right? We're taking money from the hedge funds and we're taking money from the institutions, right? Uh, so we can see here that uh, that would be roughly around 33, 34K. Uh, if, if we don't get this one event, uh, and let's say that does get stopped in Africa and all is well, hopefully all of that good stuff, right? Uh, we can see that we do still have measure moves down to 44K for lows, right? So maximum low for Bitcoin for me is still 44k but uh, if we do come down for a massive swan event big global events blah 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 lots of things can happen okay assassinations all of this stuff right uh, then uh, yeah i mean i can see 33k being the bottom around that area anyway okay so that's the key uh, that's the key point of this video anyway right if we are looking in terms of the uh, no, the daily, here we go. If we are looking in terms of the daily, we can see that, uh, yes, we have got over this trend line. A lot of people are redrawing this at this point. Uh, I don't see the validity in doing that because you're missing this, this key high that was put in, right? So if we are looking at this key high that was put in, then uh, we can say here that, uh, yeah, we are still oscillating around that. Uh, if we do lose the low here at 56.1, I would highly, highly expect us to come down to 53.8, okay? This is pretty much a given if we do start crashing down here all right uh, and then besides that there is another trend line here that i haven't talked about much but it is this one okay and this one we actually got above okay and then we have been grinding down this trend line uh, on a daily and still oscillating a little bit around it right but it is a little bit more formal it is a little bit better than the other trend lines that we can see here right uh, and with that trend line we are currently above it so uh, if we do want to recover from this point you guys know the drill we're looking for trades uh, around 62k upwards and then the cautious traders here we should be looking for trades roughly from 63k to 66k okay uh, that's really what i'm looking at, at the daily obviously uh, the bigger moves here breaking out of this pattern the 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 plan has changed i'll just roughly if you are new here i'll roughly run you through it okay so from 70k upwards we want to tap through 70k up to 71 we want to retest 70k and then we want to start blasting it uh, and that would blast all the way to our all-time high where we take profit for four percent there you can leave a little bit of this in if it does start running okay and that would bring us up to ten percent Okay, and that's just probably the safest, uh, most justifiable way to play this if we do start running. All right, trying to long here at 65K, 64K is a very bad idea. Do not do it, okay? Uh, unless it is short-term trading, okay? But in terms of long-term swing trading, uh, this is really what I'm looking for here. Uh, towards the downside, if we lose 50K at any point here, at any point if we lose 50K, it's a crashing scenario. I would expect us to come down, tap these mid to low 40s, okay, 40. 45 down to 44, uh, this kind of area here for a nice 7% trade. We also have this trend line coming through here, which is going to be super important. Okay, if we lose this trend line, very bad for Bitcoin, but overall, uh, I do expect it to hold. And this is where I'll be adding to my DCA position uh, that we have essentially got this hash rate signal from, uh, which was at 65K. Okay, but we have been DCAing in here uh, to 
get our entry a little bit lower, but it's not anything that we're using leverage on. This is more of a long-term play, expecting Bitcoin to get to the 100, 200, 300K region in the next year or so, okay? Uh, so that's the daily. Hopefully you've got some value from that. Be sure to like the video if you have, uh, and also subscribe. You could subscribe. I mean, I'm just saying, if you subscribe to this channel, I will give you an Apache helicopter, all right? Okay, I'm not signing anything, but I will. If we are looking at the midterm here, the four hour, we can see that the trade that we did put in for our free signal yesterday on Telegram and Patreon, which is completely free, by the way, uh, is still valid. So we'll be we'll be looking to essentially get above this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band. Super simple trade here. OK, about 60K, retest 60K, break the high and then get in for a 1% trade next uh, up to the top of the range here, which is uh, more of the four hour range coming through. So if we do look at this thing, uh, yeah, we did trap above it. Not very good, uh, but there is still merit to say that this is the top of the range. Okay, so what we will say here is uh, that yes, there is a pretty nice little uh, ascending triangle kind of structure forming here. Um, and there is a measure move from that, but incredibly risky in this market. Just look at the volatility here. Look at the trends. They are not respecting anything uh, and they're pretty disgusting and volatile to both sides. So uh, just be careful trading inside this pattern. But uh, yes, if you are going to put a gun to my head here and say, hey, Hamilton, just give us a trade. Uh, we can see uh, towards the upside here that we'll be looking to essentially break 63.3 and then ride that up to about 65K. OK, and that would be below uh, a very, very important resistance level as well. So important there. Uh, to get out of the trade before that time. Uh, and what we will say here, guys, is that is a good trade. But again, the markets are incredibly risky right now. And more than anything, I'm expecting us to come down, test the low 50s before anything. But if it does want to break out here, we get some good news, whatever, right? Uh, then, uh, yeah, getting in this trade from the mid 63s up to 64, 65 uh, does make sense here. OK, uh, besides that, towards the downside, if we are looking at this, bada boom, bada bing, uh, very risky again, because we have these these kind of midsection highs coming through. But uh, yeah, if you were to break this low at 56K, I would expect us to come down to the low 50s, which does actually align with our four hour volume weighted ATR band here. OK, short term. Let's have a look at this one. Pretty much a similar story here. We did play out a bit of a measure move that we were talking about yesterday here uh, from this pattern. But again, really risky. I'm going to say that a lot this video, but really risky uh, to take that trade. If you did find it, congratulations. Good stuff. Make that money. All right. Uh, but besides that, yeah, sideways here. Uh, and, uh, and we are just kind of waiting for any kind of new structure to form. Uh, we do have a small trend line here on the hourly, uh, which is currently being tested right now. So if we don't uh, survive above this trend line in the next few hours, uh, what we should be expecting is a bit of a wave down. OK, this wave down will likely be to our, our horizontal supports here, as you can see here, pretty prominent area in terms of horizontal. So that's going to be 58.7 uh, coming through here on this one hour chart. Again, I'm going to say this one more time. Last time I'm going to say it, super risky to be trading, particularly on anything under a daily here. And even if we do look at the daily, it's disgusting. OK, uh, it's disgusting coming through. Here. It's really, really bad. I haven't seen the market this bad in terms of predictability in ages. And if we look at the weekly here, just a dirty wiki mess, a dirty wiki mess coming through here. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, if you have got the value, I would massively appreciate a like. Just one like. Just click, click that button. Turn it blue. It's fine. OK, uh, and leave a comment if you did see the secret giveaway code. I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Goodbye from me, Hamilton. Cheers.